All right, so night number two of Oysterhead here now. After making their return last night, they're back. Well, kind of back. A little bit back. We'll take any Oysterhead we can get, really, at this point, for sure. So, Mr. Oysterhead, one of the highlights from last night, opening up tonight again, coming strong. You know, talking to Les is talking tonight at some point about kicking the rust off this thing. They sure have with Mr. Oysterhead. Oz is ever floating after that. Then the grand pecking order. It's one Oysterhead song I could do without. I mean, that is a great album almost from start to finish. But the grand pecking order once again. And then Rubberneck Lions, like Mr. Oysterhead last night. Another strong showing from Rubberneck Lions. Shadow of a Man. You know, one of my favorite Oysterhead songs. You know, not... You know, not, not exactly a cheer em up type of song, but we'll take it tonight. And then, ended, ended in the first set with White Room. I don't know, I guess it was Mr. Oysterhead and Rubberneck Lions that really ran long. It even took them a couple minutes to get into Mr. Oysterhead. You know, those first two or three minutes on stage tonight, I was claiming this is the worst song I've ever heard. This might be the worst band ever, but they were just getting started, you know. Just tinkering around. Things really heated up quickly with Mr. Oysterhead. And then, like I was saying, ended in the first set with White Room. Cream, White Room, one of the most powerful trios ever. Then we also got a uh, Jimi Hendrix uh, Band of Gypsies tease in there somewhere throughout. That might have been an Oz's Ever Floating. Maybe a Mr. Oysterhead right off the night. Changes. So, Birthday Boys gets us going in the second set. Well, I think it did anyhow. I missed a little bit of the opening of the second set. I tuned in. Birthday Boys is getting down. Maybe the first set. By the, I mean, that first set was just, you know, on fire from beginning to end. It's going to be tough to top that in the second set. You know, that place had erupted. You know, it was a blessed couch tour. Thanks for the stream there. Birthday boys, little feces, little faces gets us going. You know, another one last night that was awesome. This one feels like, you know, if this was going to be a band, you know, Mr. Oysterhead, rubber leg, rubber neck lions, little faces, armies on ecstasy. These are going to be some of the Oysterhead vehicles where they get it going, you know, just about every time. And what their chomper hit might be just yet. It could be White Room. It could be their character Zero. So anyhow, after Little Faces gets done ripping, Trey doing his thing there. Less, of course, a little weird not seeing seeing Trey is not really the front man. I mean, kind of feels like this is Less's band. You know, I don't know why, just because he's the guy talking on the mic, but but it does kind of feel that way. You know, but I'm sure Trey likes it. He's like, yeah, it's kind of nice just to sit back and be a guitar player. Not like my other bands, Casvod Vox and Fish. Trey Anastasio band, Ghost of the Forest. He's kind of the man in all those bands. Then we get the hit, Armies on Ecstasy, Owner of the World. John Fishman out there somewhere, shedding a tear for that one. That's in in the second set. Then we get Blue Collar Tweakers, a Primus song. They're going to pick a Primus song out of the hat. Bam, that's a good one. Trey said he's been waiting to play that song for 30 years. It came out in 1991. First tube following the Primus Blue Collar Tweakers. I don't know if Les had been waiting 30 years to play First Tube or not. He didn't mention then uh, Pseudo Suicide, End in the Night, and then boom, right like that. Oyster Head in and then out. Colorado, Boomfield, Colorado. Whew, I like that, Mr. Oyster Head. Rubberneck Lions. I just have to get And these are showing up on Live Fish, so. Getting, if, you, if you need you some Oyster Head, better save your money for Mexico. Although the welcome set, only fourteen ninety nine, are giving us a deal there. I just want a camel walk in that welcome set. I've heard Trey's band's been ripping it, so I want Fish to come out and do the camel walk. Boom. See you guys soon. Oysterhead. Oysterhead. Are there Oysterhead heads? Les wants to know. I don't think so. You can't play like... <laughs> there, there aren't. There's no Oysterhead heads. People like Oysterhead. Trey fans. No rumors of Trey's underwear being sold after the show tonight. Stuart, you're playing the wrong fucking song.